Hurdy Gurdy is a misspelled play on words. The title refers to the fact that you play as the Herder Gurdy, yes, Gurdy, and the awkward instrument of the same name that's cool in its steampunk fiddle like appearance. But here's the thing. I'd rather not hear the music produced by it. You could argue that it's more important that the instrument, with its primary function of producing music, should be better in that regard. You'd be right. Why am I talking about the weird Hungarian instrument so much? Well, I think it's an amazing and specific coincidence that Hurdy Gurdy's namesake is a nearly perfect analogy to the game itself. That is, Hurdy Gurdy looks as theoretically awesome as the instrument and plays well, it plays as well and annoyingly as the instrument sounds. Hurdy Gurdy not only artistically looks well in its watercolor animated film style, but it also looks like a 3D platformer. It may be strange that I'm disappointed that it's not, as any belief that it is a 3D platformer would imply an uninformed amount of research. But yeah, I just picked up the game for 99 cents because of cute designs, and once again, my belief that it was a PS2 era 3D platformer, the best era of 3D platformers. Instead, it's a poorly controlling herding simulator that's not fun at all. Okay, so maybe Hurdy Gurdy is a little bit of a 3D platformer, and that it takes place in a 3D environment, and as Gurdy, yes Gurdy, you can jump. But when his father, Master Herder Gurdren, yes, Master Herder Gurdren, doesn't wake up on the day of the annual herding competition, yes, annual herding competition, Gertie sets out to remove the evil spell placed on his father by winning the annual herding competition. Sounds like the father's just dead and this game is really just about a farm animal obsessed boy in denial, but regardless, the story makes no sense and isn't interesting in the slightest. Luckily, other aspects of the presentation fill in the whimsical and likable gap left by the story and characterization. As mentioned earlier, the game has an awesome watercolor aesthetic, and environments and characters look like video game adaptations of some characters in an animated movie that exists somewhere. Character and creature designs are as weird as they are charming, and while the naming of said creatures is lackluster, dupes, and gromps, there's nevertheless a certain level of charm to it. Too bad it's all ruined by the gameplay. I'm not sure I've ever played a game where the quality of presentation and gameplay are in such stark contrast. As I mentioned, Hurdy Gurdy is a herding simulator, one that plays like a short portion of a 3D platformer I wish the game would actually be. What I mean is that it plays badly, like it was designed without the fact that the whole game has to be played like this in mind. You just run at creatures to direct them towards their pens. To be fair, that's at first. Later on in the game, you get items that more effectively help you direct creatures in the right direction. But the poor controls still stand. Gertie moves with flailing limbs and the amount of precision you would expect out of a kid running around with flailing limbs. In order to move on to the next area, you need to corral a certain percentage of the creatures, which is like whatever, but sometimes you have to come back with a certain item to get the rest in order to embark on a different path. That would be cool too, getting a little metroidvania style gameplay in there, but the hurting of the creatures is so paradoxically boring and frustrating that you don't want to go back and prolong the game any further. I can explain to you the irrationality in having to prove to old gypsies that you can herd, and the frustration caused by the predatory bear-like gromps that eat the docile creatures and cause many a level restart, but I think I've talked about this game long enough. Almost. It may sound like I'm bashing Hurdy Gurdy. That's because I don't like it. This neat aesthetic that I do enjoy somehow makes my distaste for the game itself even greater. A game that looks like this would be great if it played well. The argument could be made that I suck at the game, and yeah, I mean, I probably do. But Hurdy Gurdy's gameplay does nothing to incentivize. Conflictingly stiff and loose controls, frustrating creature AI, collectibles that just unlock concept art and the like, just a boring gameplay premise effectively cancel out the likability that could be brought out by the game's visual style. I'm all for obscure, different games, but maybe this obscure, different game just isn't for me. Maybe hardcore, hurdy-gurdy fans can point out what's so great about it. Otherwise, I think this one can just stay in its 99 cent mediocre obscurity. The idea is simple. You must round up the dupes and get them into the pen.